The past week has been an absolute mess. First of all, horrible communication between the players and Jagex and Jagex towards the players about refunds and the entire sigil updates, which gave life to a lot of bugs like disconnection bugs, spam sigil bugs, the reprisal ability was completely gone, people bought them off the Grand Exchange to get them back, they didn't get their money refunded and a lot of people were mad on Reddit and there was a lot of drama and uproar. And then we have two Jagex moderators leaving Jagex within a week because their contracts got cancelled, aka that's a different way of saying fired, I guess. Maybe let go. I don't know. Mod Lee was a very prominent figure in the RuneScape 3 community, making the patch notes for the RuneScape official channel and doing various live streams on the RuneScape official Twitch channel, being boss masses or mini game events. And we have Mod Edge, who primarily worked on the mining and smithing rework and was working on RuneScape 3 Mobile. What on earth is going on within Jagex? Now before I say anything, this is not the end of RuneScape 3 as some people that have been downvoted on Reddit have said. But it is a strange direction we're heading in. Two Jagex moderators aka two people losing their jobs at Jagex in one week, with a possibility of more to follow. Now the reason I wanted to make this video is not because of the sigil update drama. I did feel like I had to mention it in the intro but... I don't really have much of a say in that, and I don't have a sigil myself, not yet at least, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But I do want to mention some quite obvious issues RuneScape 3 has for such a large game, or company, being Jagex. The biggest issue I've been seeing for the past few months now, and I've always wanted to make a video on it, is communication. More specifically, customer support and communication between the players and Jagex within updates. A great example of this would be the Sigil update, where Jagex wasn't clear in what they were going to be changing, how much they're going to be refunding players for their sigils, and what's going to be changed, and what's final. And then the update was delayed, and it turned out to be a buggy mess. And then you have the tens of hundreds of customer support posts on Reddit, or people mentioning it in the official RuneScape Discord, sounding like an echo chamber just saying things and nothing has been done with them for a company this big with literally almost zero customer support unless you get a lot of reddit upvotes or you have a large following possibly but yeah that's a big issue you may or may not have known about the customer support for runescape 3 is really really bad most other big mmos that i know of actually have customer support aka a specific person that replies and figures that out for themselves. So they, they specifically work for customer support. And RuneScape 3 doesn't have that. And that may have to do with cost because you have to hire someone and pay them to do that 40 hours a week. And with the recent dropping of two Jagex moderators, which seem to have been pretty prominent figures in the RuneScape 3 community, there may be an underlying issue or something they're trying to save money on. However, RuneScape or Jagex, I keep messing those two up, have had record profits last year and probably will have that this year as well. But of course, at the end of the day, this is all just speculation and we don't really know what's actually going on inside Jagex and why Mod Lee was dropped and then followed up by Mod Edge. The possibility is there that they did not need someone to create the patch notes and do live stream events anymore, but that's a bit strange because Mod Lee, for example, made most mini games alive and with those events bring new players into bossing new players into new mini games they've never done before because most of the mini games in runescape 3 unless they are on spotlight are completely dead especially the ones that don't have any good rewards but yeah there isn't that much i can say about mod lee and mod edge leaving jagex and not much we can do what you can do however if you did like mod lee's content and live streams is follow his youtube account known as regicidal which is actually his original youtube account before he worked at jagex he recently started a new iron man series called alpha man now before i end the video off because i don't want to ramble too much in this video i just want to talk about the issues runescape really has and this reddit post actually captures it completely now runescape 3 is a great game and you can play the game just fine as a casual player but there are a lot of issues, outdated graphical areas, dead clicks, the awful tick system, loyalty points and auras, summoning familiars getting stuck, weapons that have no diversity, which the weapon diversity update is going to fix, hopefully without breaking anything, and a lot more. I was actually planning to re-review RuneScape 3 in a video titled Should You Play RuneScape 3 in 2019, but I just put that idea off completely. 
Now, I've always wanted to recommend RuneScape 3 to friends IRL, but because this game is so complex and some areas are outdated, there's no real interest from them in playing this game whatsoever. Because as an outsider, RuneScape 3, at least looking at the tick system and combat, isn't as polished as you expect a large MMO to be. Now I really hope this video isn't too confusing because I have a feeling I'm jumping from topic to topic to fit as much as I can in this video, but what it comes down to is what I think Jagged should do right now is instead of adding new content for the small majority of players that have reached the end game and constantly are pretty much almost begging for new content, new bosses, just sit down and actually polish this game instead of adding new stuff. So, one example of that would be the bank rework. We have to finish that so that the bank works properly, fix all the bugs and issues, fix all the graphical outdated areas, and make it as if it's RuneScape 3.5 or RuneScape 4. Pretty much a polished game that you can call one game instead of having areas in the game that are just so old and outdated and buggy that you can't even call them RuneScape 3 areas anymore or releasing new content that pretty much makes old content dead content and then people have done the new content and then just begging for even more content and you just keep producing more content and making old content dead and just keeps on going like that until you have so much content in this game that there's so many various things you can do however there's only one real efficient way so the half the game is just useless and that's the direction it's heading in but that's just my opinion feel free to disagree in the comments down below but in short we had a great start off of 2019, a big update, rework, quite nice, and now we're starting to slack off, not managing resources properly, changing skills that don't need to be changed, and I don't know how many years RuneScape 3 has left in it. I really don't. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Catch us later. Peace.